Salutations, players. It is I, Marius von Perfufeldink, emissary to his lord Karl Franz. And today, we will be unboxing the new Empire Master Engineer figure from Games Workshop. And I thought that I would do this by myself, but then I had great honor and privilege of speaking with the Emperor Karl Franz, who has heard some very negative things about my provincial accent and it not being accurate to the quote-unquote real-world applications of what the Empire is based on. So, to unbox this miniature himself, ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce His Majesty, the Emperor Karl Franz. Ah, what's up, players? It is me, Karl Franz, and I'll be showing you today this master en engineer for the Empire. Ah, it is me. I'm so happy to be here. So let's take a look at this little frame. This frame, it is packed with detail. There is only one figure on it, the master engineer, and he has a Hawkling long rifle. But if you don't want to give him the rifle, you can give him this telescope over here. So. Uh, I'm very happy that now we have a master engineer who has uh, a long rifle and can stand by me, my artillery train and shoot and snipe enemy characters from far away while giving good orders to his artillery. Yeah, so thank you and now I will be handing over the rest of the video to the puny tiny little robot Tay to describe how to put it together. Ah Wow. Alright, so that's right, we're looking at the Master Engineer. It's the new set from Games Workshop, and it's a plastic set kit. Plastic kit. So you can see I've already taken it out of the box. I'm going to be saving that little plastic box later for another wet palette. And uh, now we're looking at the instructions for what goes where. The options are you can use a choice of either the Hawkland Long Rifle or a telescope arm, but everything else kind of fits on it, like over here this little cloth piece, this pistol, brace of pistols for the back. You might not want your engineer with a brace of pistols, they've all got different rules and um, to me, I feel like the master engineer's job is to just stay with the artillery, not get any in any trouble, and um, just lend them his ballistic skill and his reroll. Uh, I'm not really going to talk about the rules because I feel like other other websites and, and podcasts and stuff talk about them well enough. I'm just going to be building up the model, letting you know what I think about it and all that. So, Igor, where did he go? Can't, can't find my clippers. Igor, Igor, are you under the table? Is the scary man gone, Master? Who? The one, the big one, with the griffin. Uh, oh, the Emperor Karl Franz? Yeah, he's gone. Oh, he terrifies me, Master. Yeah, he's pretty scary. Um, have you seen my clippers? Oh yes, here they are, Master. I was going to use them as an improvised weapon just in case he found me out. Alright, so we're going to start clipping and assembling this model. We've got the main body. Let's take a look at it under our ghetto close cam. Seems to be standing on top of a cannonball, which makes him perfect for hanging out by a cannon. And this interesting little pattern in his jacket. I like how he's wearing boots, riding boots underneath his uh, long coat here. Pretty good detail. He slots into this base. And uh, this is one of these molded bases that come with all of these plastic figures, so you don't have to worry about using the new <laughs> texture paints for, for your basing. Let's see what we have here. Lots of uh, instruments, compasses, um, just a whole bunch of paraphernalia that engineers use. Um, I kind of like how the Empire and Dwarves, just Warhammer in general, seem to be taking their men of uh, civilized cultures and 
um, starting to make them more steampunkish. I think it's a good direction for them to take. I hope they keep going with it. Uh, even though now they are focusing on the Empire being really magic and spiritual heavy. I hope they, like with the Luminarchs and War Altars I'm thinking about, I hope they continue to um, innovate in like steampunk fashion because uh, as much as I like the dwarves, seeing the dwarves going in that direction as well, just to give them something different from the heavy ancestor focus and all about tradition and old school stuff like that. I think, you know, steampunk is cool, the kids like it. It's gonna draw more people. So, in the base also they have a little slot or a little groove for the, for the cannon to go in. And fits in really nice. Uh, so yeah, like I said, I'm not going to be making the um, engineer here with pistols. I just don't think it's necessary, but I'll leave them out and then, hey, if I want to later, then you always can. Here's a hand weapon, a little scroll at the bottom. Let's take a look at how it attaches so we don't have another foul up, like, oops! Uh, Okay, sorry about that. I um, with this small fiddly piece, I totally just dropped it. Oh, and in my little hobby corner, it's so full and packed with stuff that, uh, and it's so just so small that I had to take everything and try to move everything around and try to find where it dropped. And basically, I need a bigger house. <laughs> I need a bigger house, or just more space for my toy soldiers. How's this supposed to go? Okay, obviously this fits here. And then... Oh, okay. It's it's open at the back. Oops, sorry about that. Leather, leather great coat. Pretty cool. Okay, so our guy, after putting, slapping him on the base and then sticking the sword and his left side to him. We're going to add... Let's do his head next. So the head on the sprue is very interesting looking. It's got a whole bunch of things on it. It's got a candle and let me zoom in on it for you, show you what it looks like. It's got a candle here on the left of it. It's got what looks like a little telescope on the right and some kind of apparatus up at the top. Looking at the cover, it just looks like a whole bunch of... I don't know. What, what, do, you, what do you all think that is supposed to be? Yeah, no idea. I think the sculptor was like, more stuff! I want to put more stuff on my figure. Normally I would say, oops, I didn't even clean it. What am I thinking? Normally I would say wait till the end, but because this figure really specifically lines up to uh, the, the rifle and everything, I, I just kind of want to make sure that it goes on correctly. And I bet you when I look at the instructions, it's going to say this one goes on last. Oh man, why don't I read my instructions? Four! No! I'm right. <laughs> Surely the, uh, the right arm was supposed to go on first. But you know what? It's all right. So this is where you make the choice. Do you want to have the Hawkland Long Rifle or the telescope arm? And because I'm using my guy in the back with the artillery train, giving his re-roll, and because... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think it just looks cooler. I don't really care for the Hawkman long rifle on the frame, but let me show it to you, just to show you what it looks like, since we're not really going to be using it. And if you want to build it with him, you can. I mean, you know, the, the engineer is going to have his uh, ballistic skill of four, 
with the Hawkman Log Rifle, so that's, you know, that's, that's something. Uh, it looks like it's got like little runes or something on it on the side, it's got some kind of, I don't know, angle range uh, kind of thing, wind variation measurement thing. Of course the ubiquitous skull there at the bottom. And it also has um, this telescope thing at the top, which is pretty cool, but I don't know, I don't know. You know, if I really want to have my engineer with a uh, with a Hawkman long rifle, then simple fix is just strap uh, an extra handgun to his back. Is it supposed to work? Where is it supposed to go? Okay, so I put some glue on the guy's arm. I'm sticking it right up there, up against his face. Yeah. <laughs> Hello! The right hand here looks like on the sprue like it's holding a crank. If you can see that. So a crank either for the Hawkland long rifle or for the telescope. And the telescope doesn't have any in-game um, you know, any in-game purpose. It's just if you don't want to have the, the rifle. So let me ask you, uh, Empire players out there, if you've played the um, the Hawkland Long Rifle to any great success, like what what have you found it's good for? How do you use it? Maybe I'm just not using mine right, but um, I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, adjusting for range. Oh, I gotta clean up the front of that once this is dry. <clears throat> so that's what I'm gonna leave him as. Oops, looks like his jacket thing is coming down, coming off. Super easy to build. Um, just as you saw, some old lines and flash that I got distracted talking, so I didn't really uh, catch when I was cleaning it. But cute, cute model. New. Uh, I, but you know what? Really though. I'm, I would have rather seen uh, halflings make a return in the book rather than seeing a new model for an engineer because really Empire has so many engineer models already. I don't really think they need it. So what's left on the sprue is your Hawkland long rifle, of course. So a spare pistol, which you can strap to the back or to his waist, and a brace of pistols here. So <laughs> not much. Um, not much extras or varieties. And actually the pistol does, this brace of pistol does look like it belongs on the guy's back because you see there's a little hole there between where the strap should be. So I might just green stuff, green stuff it uh, to make it look like the strap is complete. Um, but you know what, just for fun, Let's give him this brace of pistols. Why not? It'll be fun to paint. And if there's any war machine hunters or anything coming for him, then he'll have something to defend himself with. Can a war machine crew stand and shoot? I just paint what I like. That's my secret, guys. Don't tell anybody. What is this going on? What am I doing? Oh my gosh. Being completely incompetent. It doesn't say either on the on the instructions. It's just like, yeah, put this back here. What are you doing? You now it's supposed to go. Uh, no, like this. I'm so lost. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh my goodness. Oh 
Oh my goodness. Okay, so according to this, looks like it's going to the right. Like that. Ah, okay. No? Oh my goodness. What are you doing, you idiot? Ah, oh, Emperor. You just glue it on his back, come on! Okay. I think that's... I think that'll do it. Ah, you are completely incompetent! See, I mean... Carl Franz, it doesn't even show you in this instruction how you're supposed to put it on, look. Like, you don't see the back of the model. It just says, you put it on. But it's the eighth thing you put on, and there's like, a little dotted line that show that like leads to the back of the model that you can't even see. Come on, how, how do you expect me to work under these conditions? I expect more from you, Warboss. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I just didn't feel like green stuffing a cloak or, or a little belt. So, there you go. So, thanks for watching, players. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and assembly video. I'm gonna let it dry for a while, then I'm going to um, shave the front of the periscope, and then possibly after we're done with the mortise engine, maybe do this guy up in some colors. Maybe even Nordland, if I haven't done it yet. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.